everyone welcome back to my channel this is my June favorites and let's begin so my first favorite has been um, taking care of more of my skin and I started using this one which is by simple and it's the smoothing facial scrub it has no harsh ingredients or harsh chemicals so it's 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 perfect for your skin it removes all the dirt and and makeup that you have um, you're supposed to exfoliate your skin twice a week but with this one it says you can even exfoliate two to three times and I noticed a difference on my skin the first time I used it so yeah that's why I feel like my skin I don't know it's better <laughs> so yeah here you go it's my first favorite and I love it whenever I want to remove my makeup I love to also use this by simple again and that's the cleansing facial wipes which is um are these ones right here i think it has um count of 25 and all you need is one well depending how much makeup you have i would say for me if, if you don't use a lot of makeup um then i'll say only one of these um facial wipes you need <laughs> yeah but i usually use two so yeah i do like to wear makeup so. And if you have any, um, any like waterproof mascara, it's great for it. Okay, so second favorite. Okay, next uh, favorite is for body wash. Uh, I recently did um, a haul from Bath and Body Works to Miano, so, and I love it. Love it, love it. It's the cucumber and melon. You can tell I've been using it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it smells, it smells really great. And this is the one that actually is in my shower right now. But I pull it up so that way I can show you guys. But I love the scent. It's not overpowering the scent. Yeah, but it smells really great. And you smell it throughout your body. I don't mind smelling like cucumbers right now. Okay, next um, thing that is that has been my favorite. Um, for YouTube, <laughs> when I film. Um, I noticed in the past that I was filming and in some of my videos. I would notice that my hair on top of my hair you can see a little bit of my like it was frizzy and i didn't like it so i've been using this one and it's by claro it's the i thrive and and this is just a hairspray i spray uh hairspray in the in this comb like so <laughs> and then i just comb it through my hair <laughs> i just comb it through my hair but i'm not gonna do it again because then it's gonna be um too much on me on my hair but it, it, I wouldn't say it's a flexible hold, even though it says it's flexible. I would say it's much more of a strong hold rather than flexible. Hold. Okay. <laughs> Using my Mac for longer foundation has been my absolute favorite. Um, if in case you're wondering, you know, what foundation I'm using, this one is in NC35. Loving my Pro Longwear Concealer. This, <laughs> this concealer. <laughs> oh, it's right there. You see it? Yeah. But, um,. What I don't like is the pump. It pumps too much. So with one pump, I have to do it twice. And I need to make sure they're both equally the same amount. Because otherwise, it will be too much. Okay, and the next thing is... I think I don't know how many times I've mentioned this, but I'm going to mention it. So uh, for, as a powder to set it, I've been using the Studio Fix Powder. I've been using it up. <laughs> yeah. And so to Studio Fix. And NC35. I noticed that my skin, the reason why is in tan. You may be wondering why is because I've been using this and it's by Misha, which is the perfect cover BB cream. And it's in the shade, I think it's in the shade Honey Beige number 27. Comes with a pump. This BB cream has uh, whitening properties, so I was using it back in the winter and in the spring, and I never mentioned it. Um, because I wanted to see if it really worked and it does because I don't look tan at all <laughs> I try to use my Makeup Forever HD foundation the one that I reviewed last year <laughs> but I was looking too tan and I just I wasn't just wasn't my 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 color so I was looking kind of off you know it just wasn't yeah so it does work I think it's amazing it's, it's my first BB cream and I think it's it's awesome you need to try it okay there you go and also it has wrinkle properties as well 
I don't know about the wrinkle properties, but I don't see a lot of wrinkles on me. <laughs> and that's good. <laughs> okay, next. Um, I've been going back to this blush because, um, I don't know, I just like it. You see? And it's by Milani Delicious Pink. I just went back to it. It's a pretty, uh, pretty pink. It's a matte. So, you can make it look sheer, you know, depending on the brush that you use. Yeah. Okay, next, that I have been loving has been um, my tweezer man. This is just an uh, eyelash curler. <laughs> it's in rose gold. Yeah. It is amazing. It's better than Tarte, I think. And I love the Tarte, but this one blows it off the water. Okay, next. Um... Last time you're going to see this, last time you're going to see me talking about it, but it's the L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Waterproof Mascara. And I um, already did a review on them. I'm not going to really talk about it. I have to change my mascara. It's time. <laughs> I have to. You know. But, uh, yeah. It's, you see that? The bristles that it has. It's awesome. It just grabs your lashes and it really extends them and make some long and it really is waterproof like it doesn't move at all until you decide to remove it with um a, like a makeup wipe or a good eye makeup remover then yeah next that has been my favorite has been um you can't really tell because of this camera but i have been using both from la colors the lipstick and the lip gloss and i hauled it in my dollar tree haul and this one the name of this uh, lipstick is in coral sheen like a swatch but you see how it's sheer it's not that it's pigmented but not that pigmented so it goes on your lips very very um much more natural than you think it would and then with that um to match it is the lip gloss in coral <clears throat> in coral crush again by lip colors you know what it smells oh it reminds me of a of a uh, of candy but i'm not sure what candy reminds me of so that's the lip gloss right so confusing <laughs> right here you see it right there okay next thing um i want to talk about is nail polishes obviously i'm not wearing the nail polishes the ones that i'm going to talk about because i switched it up like how long has it been four days i just haven't had the time because you know you guys know that I'm like studying, so I can't, I don't have sweet time to be doing my nails right now. I just don't, probably I'll switch it up um, like on Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. I'm not sure when, before Saturday, because I'm going out with my best friend. Yay. We're going to watch a movie. So anyways, um, here we go. Uh, I remember, I Instagram all of these. All of these are amazing. This one is by Ella Colors uh, Color Craze, and it's in Cocktail. You can get away with either two or three coats. The Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear. This one is in Heat Stroke. And you see this one? So pretty. The first coat, you think, oh, it's sheer. By the time you apply the second coat, it's very opaque. But then it looks like it's mattified. In order for you to get the same effect that I did on my nails, you have to apply a top coat. Otherwise, it's not going to look like on the um, on the bottle okay it's just gonna look matte and it's not gonna give you that pretty uh shiny gloss into your nails okay next milani color statement it's in number 19 mint crush and although it says mint i wouldn't describe it as a mint nail polish i would describe it more like um a tiffany blue yeah it lands more on that shade rather than mint um very opaque two coats and it lasts on the nails really long time a really long time and this was one of my favorites for the month of june in may i was reading books but not anymore <laughs> okay not in the month of june i didn't read i was watching but i stopped obviously um it was what is it orange is the new black i'm in episode i think i'm in episode seven or nine i don't remember ah oh. I forgot because it's been a while I haven't seen my show um and then oh favorite music I love Hillary Duff <laughs> I love Hillary Duff why am I 
being so shy to say I love Hilary Duff. Um, Spark, Spark, I love that song. Oh, my favorite vloggers from YouTube. Let me mention YouTube. I love. I've been watching. Okay, I haven't been logging on to my channel, but I'm still watching them. Is Judy's life? I love her. Bia versus GF. Jesse and Gina. You know what's something funny about them is that they're big here on YouTube and they're still humble. Received by Apple Mom. I love watching her. Uh, she's gorgeous. Like they should put her picture next to the dictionary. Like the word gorgeous. Her picture should be next to next to it because <laughs> she's so pretty. Um, let's see who else do I love watching. What will Lizzie do? Uh, Nicole Guerriero. I love watching her vlogs. Yeah, she's really, she's pretty cool. She's great at editing, I think. I love how she edits her vlogs. Um, let's see who else do I love watching. Uh, oh yeah, I love watching uh, Kenny Johnson. I do watch Kenny Johnson. I was watching her. Uh, let's see who else. Who else have I been watching? Oh yeah, I love watching uh, Wendy Williams. She's my favorite. <laughs> I wish I can go to New York and see her. So there you go. Those are a few of my favorite. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I had to say. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to click the like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Um, leave a comment down below what has been your favorite. And, and I'll see you in my next video. My next video is going to be a Q&A tag video that I was tagged here by my friend um, Lynette McGee. You guys need to check her out. She's awesome. Okay. Go subscribe to her. Go check out her videos. Um, so yeah. So on that video, I'm not going to show any products. It's just, I think there's 10 questions. I don't know how many questions there are. But I'm going to answer those questions. And that's the next video after this. Okay. So thank you so much for watching. Follow me on social media. And take care. Bye.